Hey guys, a long time ago when I was a really little kid, I remember going to see the San Francisco Symphony at the Davies Symphony Hall. The harpist that was playing in the orchestra was actually called in that day because the harpist that was supposed to be playing got really sick. So they actually made an announcement at the very end of the concert saying that the harpist had actually sight read the entire concert. Of course, like my whole family sitting there like, since that time, I've been really inspired to learn how to sight read well. All right, so the basics first, rhythm. Let's start with something we all know. Let's just say that we get some of the notes wrong. some of the notes wrong, but at least it sounds like Mary had a little lamb. A Middle Eastern Mary had a little lamb, but you can still recognize it, right? The key to making the rhythm work, however, is keeping the beat steady. If your beat is not steady, your rhythm is gonna go completely out the window. Da 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 Yeah, no. Number two meter. I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but you can actually use the same exact notes, but put it in a different meter, and it sounds like a completely different song. Case in point. See? Same notes, different meter, different songs. What I've actually noticed some of my students doing is if they are sight reading, say like a 3-4 time, but their mind is stuck in 4-4, four, four, they will actually add one beat to every single bar and therefore play it completely differently than what it's supposed to sound like. And now we get to the notes. There is no going around it. You have to learn your theory. Why? This is my upgraded sad excuse of a whiteboard. Again, let's take something we all know. Here we go. Once upon a time. Let's just say though, that you only knew the letters and you didn't know anything about grammar. You didn't know how words were put together, nothing. You just knew the letters, that's all you knew. It would probably sound something like this. Own ki you own a time -y. When you were a kid, do you remember all those spelling tests that you had to take back in grade school? You had to actually memorize how it was spelled and you had to memorize how you said it. It's once. It's not own key. Reading music is just like reading a different language. You have to actually get to know your words, i.e. your chords, your arpeggios, your scales. You have to know them, okay? Because when you see them on the page, you should be able to recognize it right off the bat. Let's say that you're reading something like that. You should be able to just look at that and think to yourself, oh, that's a broken D major triad. So going along with this whole learning how to spell in music is pattern recognition. All right, I'm just gonna make something up right now. Alrighty, there you go. There is my one bar melody. I really hope that at the very least you see repeated notes. There's only three notes in here, F, G and A, that's it. You should be able to see that right off the bat. Now, the other thing that you should see is that this group and this group of four notes is exactly the same. Please do not make life hard on yourself and try to read every single freaking note, okay? Do you see how black this is? Unfortunately, I see a lot of people, they actually read the notes like, okay, this is an F, and now moving on to the next one is a G, and then an A, and then a G, and I'm like, what the? Why are you reading it like that? Now, if you know your theory, this is actually the major third of the tonic chord, right? And the G is just filler. You're actually backing up and looking at things from a bigger picture perspective. Let's say, well, I don't know how fast this goes. Chord note equals 90. That actually means beats per minute. 
they're actually giving you a metronome marking. How do you know how fast that is though? The only real metronome marking that you have to memorize is one that you actually already know. 60 beats per minute. One beat per second. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, one, two. If we wanna to get to 120 beats per minute, okay? That means it's twice as fast as this. Da, 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 da. 90 should be between 60 and 120. Something like that. Let's make this a little bit harder now. I hope you guys notice that this is just a third higher than this. This is what you call a sequence. Now on top of this, if you're slightly more advanced, you should be able to see that this whole thing outlines the tonic triad of F major. For me, I'm not reading the notes at all. I'm just looking at patterns. I guarantee you the quickest way to sight read is to know your theory and to apply it to everything you're playing. It's literally like reading out loud a score instead of like a paragraph from a book. So those are the basics of basics of sight reading. There's actually a whole lot more that we can talk about. Articulation, dynamics, phrase recognition, musicality, ensemble awareness. But I think I'll save all that for another video. If you guys have more questions, don't hesitate to comment down below or find me on Facebook or Twitter. I also recently got Instagram, which I kind of think I'm enjoying a little bit too much. So that is it for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, you have to see this part. Look at this. Do you all see the, the birds? All the all birds? The birds? That's, a, that's holy crap. That's a lot of birds. Yeah, think about the bird poops. <laughs>